Hello there, and a very warm welcome to Generation Me. This is Tring Wong Chuk, and、uh, today I'm here at Walaka here in capital Thimphu, and、uh, I've come to meet a group of young people who call themselves as、uh, Drug Dream Team. Well,、uh, we will find out more about Drug Dream Team from the two members of、uh, the、uh, dance crew. Hello and good zambo. My name is Chaudhun Namgil, and I've been dancing since 2007. And I've discovered the professional way of dancing in 2013. And I love dancing because it, it's the only thing that gives me confidence to have a positive living and to stay fit. Hello, hello. I'm Ishtorji. Currently pursuing B English Songa at RTC, second year, and. To talk about、uh, dancing, dancing I started from 2006, and right now we are in. We have come up with a crew called Drug Dream Team, and and also if I talk about me、uh, being a dancer, I like dancing because each and every individual have their own talent. So to focus on talent, we have to do something creative. Creative talent. So I started dancing, and I'm focusing professionally into a dancing. When I first started,、uh, it was just like fun. Like how we are love get, getting love in music. I don't think none of us hate music. That was the basic. Okay, that was just the starting. That I just found the dance as a fun. When I get into b boy, the first that、uh, feeling that happened to me was like I tried everything. I tried football. I tried taekwondo, and I tried other stuffs. And I don't have that feeling, you know. Why、uh, did you choose dance? I was into b boy because. I have that confidence, you know. If I say taekwondo, if I have to get into the taekwondo, okay, I don't have that、uh, feeling to express myself through taekwondo. But I am more confident.、Uh, I got that confidence to express myself through dance. I mean, b-boying, which is more like,、uh, which can help myself to be fit. First of all, then I can be more creative. In terms of like choreography, creative how?、Uh, I mean, creative in the sense being original.、Okay. So being original means、uh, since I'm Bhutanese, I can have my Bhutanese、uh, related thing with my dance. That's what hip hop gives us actually. Uh, uh, hip hop is accepted as universal culture, and it's、uh, giving opportunity for every country to have their own originality related to to their own country. Being a human, we have、uh, anger, love, emotion, physical, physical fitness, and dance is all about these things. There are different categories of dance. Now, dance, crumping, crumping is the very strongest and energetic dance in the world, which which expresses our all the feelings of anger. This is a crump. This lead to crump and. About the love, lyrical, lyrical. We say lyrical hip hop. Lyrical hip hop. We get into a lyric. Everything, whatever it comes in a lyric, we focus on this thing. We create steps in the lyric through lyric, and we express our love through lyrical dance. And about emotion, emotion thing、uh, through contemporary dance. Contemporary dance express all about emotion. We express everything what we have inside through dance. And about fitness, b boy is the best fitness dance. B boy and、uh, doing a gym is the same thing. Because to start a b boy, we have to have a lot of strength in our arms, even in the tips of fingers. We have to have a strength to carry on our own weight to move. 
like uh, to balance on head and everything is all about a fitness and how we start so i started loving dance because dance is a art form where we can express all the feelings that we have Drug Dream Team was formed all for the love of dancing. A movie inspired Chalo to form the dance crew. Actually, I was more into break dance or b-boying and those kind of hip hop stuff. Uh, my main genre of dancing, the form or the style that I I more uh, put effort is on b-boying. So, in 2013, I found a, a movie called Battle of the Year 2013. A Battle of the Year is a international competition like football we have world cup so it's for b boys it's like a world cup so where all the b boys from different country they meet and they battle so they, they will have a international competition so in that movie i found american b boys they making their name as a dream team where the members from different crew they come together and forming a uh, one crew that represents their country so that inspired me to to build the name as a druk dream team and druk uh, obviously means bhutan right <clears throat> so that was the first idea before druk dream team uh, my uh, the, the page that i used to update on facebook was druk b boy then later i um, i made it druk dream team but without my uh, few friends uh, i want to mention their name uh, some my friend somnorbu sherap tenzin nuchu and chimi rinzin they were the uh, first uh, friend that i found in bangalore when i was studying down there and we were inspired by other b boys in india so we thought of forming a crew and like uh, we'll have the same uh, spirit in bhutan In 2013, Chalo went to Bangalore to study nursing. During his short stay in India, he began to discover more about dancing. Let's find out more about Chalo's dream. But my real intention going down to Bangalore was to explore and to learn more about dance, the culture, the hip hop and the jam, you know, the scene how I wanted to know more about the dance uh stuff that going down there in bangalore so <clears throat> after reaching there i found that it's totally different from bhutan mm-hmm. what we have here is not even up to our basic level mm-hmm. we here in bhutan we dance for fun entertainment mm-hmm. but nothing as like a uh, profession or more uh, it has more sense down there in bangalore Anyway, so uh, you went there to study, but uh, your intention was to know more about dancing, to explore dancing. Yes. Okay, why 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 did it happen? I mean, although you, you you went there to study, and then you you're more interested to know and explore more about dancing. Since my childhood, I was never into studies, lah. Like that that's first. I was always uh, uh, after sports or taekwondo or. some kind of physical uh, related things and right after my 12 when i was staying at my sister's shop for six months vacation i did research that um, i mean i was a bit worried you know uh, now i've completed <laughs> class 12 and now i have to whether i have to go for further study but what course should i should i be taking or if i don't go for studies <coughs> what should i be doing to have my own living to sustain myself so i was a bit worried and i don't have anything to do that that moment but i was working at my sister's shop the whole day on facebook then day by day i have uh, got an idea that yeah, i'm good at b-boying I, i'm i mean i'm more interested in b-boying i mean dance so then i did i did research you know I've checked all the corners and uh, everywhere in Bhutan, you know, those who are updating on dance. Then I found the level is quite I mean, it's not really up to that level. Then I thought I can do something with dance. Then that was the first thing uh, that came into my mind that I can do something with b-boying and dance thing in Bhutan. 
When Chado was in Bangalore, Ishii was here in Thimpu, but they had one thing in common. Their passion for dancing brought them together. It's always a social network where we got linked. Like, uh, he always wanted to start up a crew which will be beneficial not only for ourselves, which will be beneficial for all the dancers in Bhutan. So he came up with ideas and he was working down at Bangalore. And we met through social network, Facebook, particularly our Facebook, where I saw his video, he going to some jam, battling, and we came across. And once he came for vacation here, and I saw his move showing at Clock Tower, and we met together and we practiced for our once or twice. Then we came about his idea of Druk Dream Team, and... While he is in Bangalore, we started here Druk Dream Team for the first time. And some of friends who used to stay with him at Bangalore, who used to study with him at Somnurbu, he came seeing that we will be starting about a Druk Dream Team who Chadunamge wanted to, wanted a team called Druk Dream Team. And we, all the dancers here, started forming crew. Mm-hmm. And we also did lots of jam around Clock Tower and also at Park. And we gathered many dancers and gave theory workshop. And slowly, for the first time, we started jam called Bringing in Hip Hop Culture, culture which is small jam, but it went so viral. And then it come to existing of Druk Dream Team here in Bhutan. <coughs> anyway, uh, when was the first time you, you guys uh, performed or danced together? Was, do, do, do you remember? Uh, it was on 2015, June 30th. That was the, uh, the, the uh, I mean, our friend Isha mentioned about the bringing in the hip-hop okay. but- <coughs> culture, Bhutan. Okay. So that was the first where, you know, all the interested, all the passionate dancers gathered and we made it a huge success. Uh, that It was like a research we were doing to know more about our youth, how much they are potential, how, how much they are interested. So that was successful and it, it had, that was the first show that we did in 2013, I mean 15, June 30th. The freestyle dancing is gaining popularity among the youth every day. We see more young people trying to express themselves through the dance. Drug Dream Team hopes to provide a chance to the youth to explore dancing culture. The founders Chado and Yishi explains. We can see the potential in them and they are really into uh, this culture, you know, they are really influenced. And, but, uh, but the basic thing... Yes, Yishi. It's like... The, 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 Bhutan got lots of talented and potential dancers who can do anything, but they don't have a basic thing which every artist, not only about dance, if we are studying, we have to start from PP. Likewise, in b-boying, dancing, we have to have a basic knowledge about how to start b-boy. So they start directly with uh, high-level moves, which is very risky for them. So... Bringing in hip-hop culture, Bhutan is not a jam where we started as a show. It is all about uh, spreading, the spreading the knowledge that we wanted them to know about. Like, they do dance, b-boy, flips, everything, but they don't have a basic knowledge. So, we doing that jam, we taught them like how to, if we are battling, how to battle against, how to do a basic moves and all everything uh, we did was all about a basic and giving theory on what is all about a hip hop and dance mm. anyway what do you actually i mean uh, call your dance form well yes uh, chado the form which i'm particularly doing is b boying or break dance mm-hmm. or we say breaking uh, it's a hi- break da- break uh, it's dancing. the same but it's the same form but different name okay. <laughs> and the the forms that we, we we can see in Bhutan are like people are doing lots of forms, urban hip hop, uh, dubstep, and yeah, 
street dance especially they they are more into st- street dance but there are majority who love k-pop those who follow korean drug dream team dreams to take dance to next level in the country the b-boy says it's one of their objectives you have many others to be done in the near future but uh, i mean it takes time but it should definitely happen let me ask this to you ishi um what do you think your your friend just mentioned about you know taking uh, dance to next level do you think uh, uh, do dream team will achieve this thank you for the good question yes la we are focusing more on taking dance to the next level and i potentially support that this taking dance to the next level will obviously happen because we have started drug dream team from 2015 and it's just started and it's been one year and we have got lots of potential dancers and we have spread lots of values of dance and about the dance thing we are coming up with lots of jam jam means where we all the dancers gather together and give knowledge of dance and also battle against and we give lots of basic knowledge on each and every dancers we not only try to improve our crew members though we go out out in the sense like to other zonka we perform there firstly we perform there and we get a uh, contact with a uh, dancers who love dance then we start uh, showing what is all about dance like they know how to move but they don't have a basic thing how to move their body so we teach them about uh, dancing and also like we are keeping a monthly battle this is all about uh, spreading knowledge of dance and taking dance to the next level I asked chado if it's possible to make a living out of dancing it's a new scene for bhutan it's uh, it's just at growing state uh, i want to make this into two topics one is the challenges and one the source that we are having the ways that the certain ways where we can get uh, paid or we, where we can actually sustain so first of all i want to talk about the challenges challenges are it's just at growing state right now this is something new uh, that introduced to bhutan so we are having difficult time to convince people about what we are actually doing what actually dance can do in a country so people don't really see the value of fun value of entertainment or uh, i mean to say that for people in bhutan dancing is just fun or entertainment but they don't really see the value of having fun and entertainment they don't have the value for fun and entertainment so they don't take it seriously if we put little bit value on that entertainment or fun or dance then we can make something out of dance to make a living and uh okay as being a artist or passionate dancers we have always been with the deep knowledge we wanted to say that we are not going against the culture that's another challenge that we are facing is like a culture majority okay. think that we are against culture where we are destroying the culture actually that's not true instead we are trying to uh, contribute something new to our uh, country i mean culture so with the change in time and generation we can have a uh, bhutanese i mean localized or bhutanese flavor that we can cop up with hip hop and hip hop as like hip hop and we can introduce something new uh, dance move or dance step then creating something out of hip hop with dance related to our own uh, bhutanese Uh, flavor okay but in his flavor that sounds good slow fast slow fast we go and yeah one two three four five. ah good to go such such try this yeah 5 6 7 8 jo 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 the team also runs a dance studio called Happy Fit Studio. The first is that taking classes 
that right now we are having in our studio right now taking classes for all group age you know we are always uh, teaching basic step basic knowledge on dance making classes for one and a half hour for two hours that's the i mean the practical thing that we did t- since last year and it, it has been successful till for one year we started for kids classes the, the three categories for all style that is like for general and basic uh, basic knowledge about different different forms and uh, the other category was on b-boying particularly b-boying that's more into fitness and physical related things and the other form last category that we had was for kids just to entertain kids to let the kids move their body just coordinate with the beat are you guys uh, making enough money to you know pay uh rent for studio are, are you guys able to you know, sustain the studio before in our uh, previous studio which is smaller in space and we don't have to pay m- much uh, rent we were even shocked you know that we were successful doing it. we were able to pay the rent from taking classes that was successful but uh, later in some cases like during the school days where the majority of students are busy with their studies so we don't have much students coming for uh, dance classes but uh, fortunately we have a uh, few sponsors who are helping us with the uh, funding and so we are really grateful for them but from those classes we are having very less to keep in our pocket Well then, this has been Generation Me. I am Sring Wong Chuk signing off for the program. The program is brought to you every Saturdays and Sundays at 5.20pm. Thanks very much for being with the program. <laughs>